Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is your Quince Madrina, Jocelyn Pasillas, back with another episode of The Quince Show. And before I introduce you the next guest for today, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about who she is. So um, let's do the quick intro and then we'll come right back. All right, so for today's special guest, I do have the honor of introducing Miss Alba Echegoyen. How are you, my love? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Now, for those who don't really know you, I do want to give you guys like a little intel on like what it is that you do, right? Yeah. So when I first met Alba, you were a cover girl. You were modeling, right? And then you quickly turned into a whole modeling coach with La Quinceañera. And I feel like that has been such a great transition overall. You've got to experience both sides. Tell me a little bit about that experience for you. Well, I think when we met each other, I was 16, right? And now yeah. I'm about to turn 23. So I don't know, both experiences are super fun. I mean, being a cover girl was surreal. It was a goal of mine. And now being a modeling coach, I get to experience like both aspects. Yeah. Now working with younger girls, it's... I mean, it's a passion of mine. I'm super proud of. And I I know for sure it's like a dream for a lot of those girls too, right? Because we always get like countless messages of, you know, girls who want to become models. And I usually just like hand them over to you guys. I know you guys do a wonderful job. Um, but talk to me a little bit about like the best part of like what you do and what you focus on now. Yeah, well, um, recently we had practice uh -huh. and I was just telling the models how... It's not about walking in the heels, but I hope that what they take away from the class is how to build self-confidence. Yep. And so I think that's a misconception sometimes that we have is just put on the heels. You're expected to look like a model and yep. it's completely the opposite. I think without having that self-confidence, you can't get in a pair of heels. So that's something that I really want to teach the girls coming in if they're shy, if they're scared. You know, just to look in the mirror and be confident in who they are yeah. and who they'll be at the end of it. I think you definitely see that too because yeah. like from going to casting calls with, with you guys, whenever you guys have them, it's always such a beautiful experience to kind of see like how they come in, right? I Which know. some of them do already have that confidence. Like they come in like just killing it and we're like, And that's okay. good, but some are super shy. But, yeah, and some of them are shy. I would yeah. say the majority are shy. I know. I think because they're intimidated, like they see... Everybody you else. they see the brand owners they see the coaches so it's it it's is a little intimidating yeah now that I think about it <laughs> <laughs> um but then like you get to see how they transform like even seeing them at our fashion shows and they're just like so confident like they dominate that that floor the stage the runway and I think that's so beautiful because they turn out to be like wonderful ladies too like yes. not just look wise but also like who they are who they become and I always see them do you know extracurricular activities and they're dominated in their classes and all these wonderful things yeah that's the best part like yeah. seeing them go off and do other things because they've built that confidence yep that maybe they didn't have mm -hmm. and then seeing them do like crazy things at school I love it yeah yep yep for anybody right now that's like interested in interested in modeling though like what would you say are the top three qualities that you look at well I would say the self-confidence okay I think that's a key Big. thing yeah um another thing is having your own values and your personality and knowing coming into the casting that you're strong mm -hmm. with those values you mm -hmm. know like if you play volleyball then own it like you play volleyball that's true um and I think the last one is standing tall and being I don't know like I'm like how can you stand tall when you're five feet tall? it doesn't matter I think that's that's another thing um a lot of people that we have on the team are a little shorter yeah. but when they come in they're not focused on like well, I'm tall or I'm short yeah. and, you know they're just coming in because it's something that they want to do and it's a goal of theirs to come you know to complete it so you know yeah. just being tall and standing <laughs> strong in your in your height yeah right owning yeah. it owning owning your strengths more than yes. anything too and whatever you're talented in just 
embrace it for the most part. Yeah. So I hope you guys were taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, so for those who, who don't know, like what a modeling coach does or what a modeling coach does, what do they do? Well, as a modeling coach, uh, every Sunday looks a little different. Yeah. Um, typically, when we have Sundays, it's from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. And that's just if we don't have anything else to do afterwards. If not, it'll like sometimes extend. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the morning, we well, what I typically do is I sit all of the girls down. Mm-hmm. We have a team of like 25, 26 right now. So we sit them all down. And what I like to do is talk to them about things that they've done or what strengths we need to do to work on from the last practice or the last expo. Mm-hmm. So that's just like a little breakdown for before we do the warm up. And then we go into the warm up in the heels. So we stretch our calves, we stretch our heels, we stretch our okay. arms, our head, um, our body, we work on poses. And that's a warm up that I've created. Yeah. You know, with the song and everything, just so that it can get them pumped Moving. for yes okay for cool. the actual runway and it's not like little heels guys no it's it's yeah, yeah six, six inch heels inch, yeah so it's a little tough but I think it's good to warm up before you do anything whether that's like running or you know it just yeah. gets them ready for harder movements mm-hmm. so be- after we do the warm-up we go into like the runway so sometimes we'll do runways that are more calm or sometimes we do runways that are a little more fun and yeah exaggerated Mm -hmm. so just depending on the day I choose different different runways different themes but all all of that kind of preparing them for runways and do you also do like prepare them for like photo shoots and what that looks like type of thing um well typically we do it for the expos okay um and then like you know we do the pageant Mm -hmm. so all of those things help prepare them for For the the angle that they want to do yes nice um, so then after the runway, we sit them down and we tell them, well, we want you to work on this, 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 and this, whether that's their facials, maybe they're less confident, they're looking down, we want yeah. them to look up, look straight, right? If we're at an expo, we want them to look around and interact with the crowd. So that's, I think it's really Eye important. Contact, yes. Yeah. Um, and then afterwards, they take their break. It's like, roughly 10 to 15 minutes Mm -hmm. and then we do it all over again it's a whole class it's a whole class and you have 24 26 girls so literally like a a full class a whole class yeah (laughs) um I think that that's super important like how how is it that you deal with so many girls at once but at the same time I mean they are teenage girls right that are either just starting their teenage years or already developing into that how is it that you manage so many different like personalities and characters you know what I think I'm really patient okay it's like a characteristic that I feel so like characterizes me that I'm really patient and I think it ties into like my teaching Mm -hmm. with special education and everything that I want to do with children yeah and so I think knowing their age and their adolescence right now, it's really important to understand them and their growth and maybe things that they're going through. Yep. So just being kind and patient with them is is the only way to protect them, protect myself. Yeah. Right? Just so yeah. that they also feel connected with who I am as a coach and maybe they're not as disconnected when they're in class. Yep. So that they understand me and I understand them. Okay. So it's kind of like yeah, back meet each other there. halfway type of thing. Okay. I like that. Um, What's the best part about like what you do? Well, now it's seeing them become cover girls, uh-huh. right? It's like you work with them one year, two years, three years, and now they're cover girls. It's like that's what mm-hmm. I want for them. And that's the goal that I hold for them. Yeah. Right. So it's it's super important for them to apply all the knowledge that they're doing in the class, yep. you know, to help them build their confidence or do other things with modeling. Cause that's the goal that I and the brand have for them, yeah. you know, to expand and not just stay with just one yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I always see how beautiful that is because even when you guys have pageants, they're all kind of focused on different dreams and goals and modeling can be something that they're doing short term. Others see it as more long term, but you know that you can never tell like the transparency yeah. is just, you know, because they love it. Yeah, you can tell like they're super passionate about it. Um, and for anybody um, who wants to become a model, what would you say are like, I don't know, like what are things that you look at? when you see somebody coming down oh well the heels is one thing okay right learning how to dominate the heels but that's a little difficult for somebody who 
is just getting started. It's just getting started. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's the self-confidence. It comes down to that. If you're coming down with your eyes down, yeah. you're a little timid, your shoulders are down. I know you love upright. eye contact. Yeah. So it's as opposed to upright and you're strong and yeah. you're really confident. I know that's really hard to have that self-confidence at a young age, but yeah. you know, it's it's all practice. Yeah, you build that. Yeah. You build that. I remember seeing this um one video of Rihanna. And they were like interviewing her, like you know, what is it that you do? I, I forgot what they were asking. Her. I I think I know you. And she's just like, well, I just pretend, <laughs> uh, pretend girl. Yeah, yeah, pretend. So, um, even if you don't feel it at the moment, it's all about like getting in your zone or doing something that you like. Always, I always say like it, it's either listening to your favorite song to kind of build up that confidence or yeah. something that kind of would trigger that because I feel like sometimes it just needs to get triggered, and. After that, it's like no turning back. <laughs> I know, I agree. Um, but okay, so we're gonna go on a quick little break and then we'll be right back. So, see you soon. <laughs> Right, so we are back from my break and I know you guys have an upcoming casting call. Tell me all about that for anybody that's interested in modeling. Well, the casting is July 21st uh -huh. and the requirements are all going to be posted on La Quinceañera's Instagram. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to have like a web page just so that everybody can log in and check the requirements or, you know, check the status of how the casting process is going to go. Mm -hmm. So now it's all going to be digital. Okay. Um, the casting is typically at the store, at the La Quinceanera store. Oh, yeah. Boutique. Which is at Main, Main Place Mall. Mall. Yeah. Yeah, in Santa Ana. Uh -huh. So that's super exciting that we get to do it now with you. I think it's our fourth, fifth year. I think so. It's yeah. been a long time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's super exciting that we get to see new faces and hopefully have them join the team yeah cool I usually i know it's like a half day or full day type of experience like girls just line up outside of the store i know for sure the requirements are you have to wear leggings right and are they like all black or? i think we're changing it i'm okay. not sure so i think that's all gonna basically be just to look at the requirements check out la quinceanera it's like la quinceanera one um for those on instagram. yeah for those wondering on instagram that way you guys can check out the requirements and kind of see um, what it takes so you can be prepared and all of that too so yeah okay um one last thing that i kind of wanted to ask you dun 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 I think a lot of people have asked you this. Will you be the next Miss Universe? Oh, <laughs> starts crying. I want to be. So I hope that's a goal. That is a You know, goal. that I'm working towards. Yeah. I'm not sure when I'll compete, but. Girl, it's you looking... need a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, you have a big fan base already of supporters. So whenever you're ready, we're here for it. Oh. I know. I think whoever meets Alba in general, you're such like a kind person, like overall. So whenever we see you, I know that you get this a lot. Like you need to be Miss Universe on Miss Universe ASAP because we see all the qualities. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater yeah. near you. <laughs> all right. So um, to switch things up, we are getting ready for now the um, Quince trivia. So I have a few questions for you. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so you only get to choose one or the other, okay? That's kind of the only rule. You can't okay. choose both. Um, so the first modeling question that I have for you, do you prefer to model for a cover shoot or runway? Ooh, runway. Okay, go cool. up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you, girl. I'm going to see if I could find a clip where you're, like, doing the full hand thing. <laughs> okay, um, six-inch stilettos or chanclas? Six inch stilettos. Really? Yeah. You're a different breed. <laughs> okay, and then the last one would you rather be on the cover of Vogue or GQ? Quinceanera.com. That's right. <laughs> That's the only right question. Um, okay, that was basically it. Is, is there any other comments that you do want to 
you know, and I guess you could say a piece of advice that you would like to share with anybody who is interested in modeling? Like, what's something that you wish you knew before you got into it? Ooh, I think that's a tricky one. Is it? Yes. I'm good. I'm maybe, <laughs> maybe having that extra practice in the heels. A lot of the girls come in with smaller heels. Mm -hmm. And I think it's harder to practice in the smaller heels as opposed to getting the big bigger back. heel and struggling a little bit and then working towards it. Yeah. Because once the girls are transitioned into the team, like the change is drastic. Like from those from little the little heels, heels to a bam. Yes. <laughs> so maybe finding a some a heel in the middle. Yeah. Just so that well, you know, what I like about the six six inch stilettos is that it has that platform in the bottom. Yeah. And sometimes with just the regular heels, like you don't. You don't have any kind of platform, so your feet hurt a little more than if you just had some platforms that elevate you a little exactly. bit. Exactly. I just got to the experience pain, that. The pain is temporary. Let me ask a That's what they always say. Okay. Um, that's a really good piece of advice. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I do want to share last time that you were here. I could say last time you were here, you brought me this beautiful bouquet. I still want to share it. Um, why wasn't that episode uploaded? Just, let's just say it's some technical difficulties, <laughs> but we're here now. <laughs> I should have brought another Ramo. No, th know, that thing was ginormous. It was. Like, I was showing it off to everybody. Like, you had no I, idea. It's because I was so excited. I was telling my mom, like, I'm going to go I, like, be all on the out. podcast with Jocelyn. I'm so excited. I love Jocelyn. That was, like, the biggest bouquet I've ever received. So, it's like, wait. I think <laughs> don't don't know that but okay um thank you so much it was an honor having you on here love you so much and hey when you are on Miss Universe let us know and we'll go ahead and replay this so we make sure everybody um starts to support you as well thank you uh, but thank you all for watching stay tuned make sure you guys watch the full episode on Spotify or YouTube but more episodes coming every other week so stay tuned Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.